joining you for another sustainable YXE video and today we're going to be doing um, something a little bit different so it's still a kind of eco sustainable project but it's not one to kind of reduce your daily uh, resource use it's more of one to celebrate nature and our environment so for this one we're going to be um, we're gonna be doing a little kind of art project to make a decoration and there's a few different ways we can do that we have some really good books if you want to make um, decorations for your home that last a long time, you can do this in a really sustainable way using a method like one shown in this book. This book's called Everlasting uh, and it's by Bex Patridge. And this one uses dried natural materials that are either foraged or grown in your own garden for that purpose to make your own um, reusable decorations for multiple occasions. So it has tips on how to grow, how to dry and how to make these um, dried plant decorations. So that's a good alternative to plastic um, seasonal decor. A lot of people buy decorations for autumn, but what we're going to do today is the opposite end of that, uh, which there's a great picture of it here. This type of foraged art, which is one that doesn't last, it's temporary, um, but it's really beautiful and it's a great way to celebrate um, found items or you know, living or non-living items that you find around. So we're gonna go around our yard and we're gonna find the most beautiful leaves that we can find because there's lots of leaves falling already. And we're gonna find twigs and branches, maybe some special rocks. And we're gonna gather them all together and just fill them in this, this box. And then we're gonna see what we can make with it. I found I oh, you already found some special leaves? Mm, Perfect. Look, one. Arthur's already started. So he's found some special leaves. Look, this one has a bit of a seed pod on it already. So we'll keep doing that. And when we join you again, we'll show you what we've gathered. And then we'll show you what we make out of it. So this is a great sustainable way to celebrate the changing of the seasons. We'll see you soon. So we found a bunch of things around our yard and we're just going to go find a good spot to make our foraged art. So that's just a few things we were able to do with our treasures, as Arthur is calling them. Um, and if you are going to be doing a kind of celebration project like we just did, with kids especially, I have a few other resources to show you that are really great. This one's called Gardening Lab for Kids, uh, and it's by Renata Fossen Brown. And it has some really good projects, especially for the fall. Uh, how to set up a rain barrel is a great sustainability project. How to make a bug or pollinator hotel would be another great project. And a similar book to that one is this one. It's called Garden Classroom 
uh, and it is by Kathy James and it has a lot of uh, projects that are really good for all ages. So this is Sustainability YXC for the day. We wish you a happy fall and we hope that you find a special uh, eco way to celebrate the changing seasons. See you next time. Thank you.